Hello to you once again. In King and Pawn Endgames there are certain principles and if you know these well enough then you can pronounce in a flash what a position holds and then you can do a Capablanca and say to anyone you think I know. Now in these sorts of positions the principles involved are essentially with it, say a king and a pawn against a lone king you have to get your king in front of the pawn in order to be able to secure a promoted pawn. If you have your king behind the pawn, you'll never do it. There is an exception to that rule, and that is that if it's a rook's pawn, in other words, on the A line or the H line, it doesn't matter that you have your king in front of it. You won't be able to successfully manage to do it because black can get his king into the corner and stop you, and there's a stalemate that will result from that. I'll demonstrate that in due course. If anyone were to show me this position, had I not already composed it and asked me what did I think the result would be, would it be a win for white? I would say it most certainly will. I could tell instantly that there'd be no problem in winning this. Generally speaking, in this sort of position, you wouldn't want to move this pawn because you're just putting it closer to the black king and you're also making it more difficult to get your king in front of it. However, because of the, the distance involved, it's always worth just having a quick look to see is it possible to promote this? Can we beat the king? Well, if we push this forward, and then of course black would just travel along the back rank. And you don't need to go any further, you just need to look at this 5x5. Five five. He's inside that magic square, as it were, and so he can stop you. So there'd be no point at all in moving that f-pawn. Test that for yourselves by all means, but uh, believe me, you can't. So my process of elimination, the answer has to be taking here. And of course, black travels down the H1 to A8 diagonal. Where do we go now? We have a choice of these three squares to move closer. Well, building on what I said, we want to get in front of the pawn, so we go here, black continues here. Where now? As far as we can, we take the opposition. And now it's a case of each king moving in sympathy with the other. You just keep moving along like that and that. And that is a theoretically one position because it doesn't matter where black goes. If he goes this way, just move to one side like that. That's all that you need to do. And goes there. You can push this on. He goes here. You go there, it goes back, you can push this on. If he goes here, no problem, you just take the opposition. You keep taking the opposition, and at this stage, if he goes here, you go there. If he goes here, you just go in there. As can be seen, he cannot stop that pawn from queening. There's just nothing that he can do about it. What I was saying earlier about a rook's pawn, just imagine for a moment We'll choose the H line here. How do you win that? Well, you have to go here. Indeed, you can't move anywhere else. And all that black needs to do is go here. Now, if you move away from covering H7, black will go into it. So you move here. And then all that black needs to do is to ensconce himself in the corner. Again, if you move your king away from covering H7, he'll take it. And then you won't be able to do anything. You push the pawn on and it's stalemate. And that is the problem with the A pawn and the H pawn. The other pawn's fine, but the king, like I say, must be in front. The king behind, we'll just give a, an instance of that. Let's quickly run through this. Goes here, there, there there. Now he pushes on. What do we do here? We have to be careful. Here. You stay in line with the pawn. If he pushes it, he loses it. He has to go here. Now you take the opposition. And if you notice here the difference to when the king is in front of the pawn is when white's pawn finally reaches the seventh, he's giving check. And then there's no win for white, because if he moves his king away from that pawn, he loses it. 
And in order to keep control over it, stalemate, that's the problem. That is worth knowing, and if you ever find yourself in a similar sort of a situation, it's important to be able to work these things out quickly, especially against the clock. I hope you've enjoyed that and managed to glean something out of it. And all the best in your chess, and goodbye for now.